Hi, this is a reading for the Give Them a Voice campaign. The Give Them a Voice campaign was started in connection to November 15th, which is the day of the imprisoned writer. And the campaign urges people around the world to support and recognize writers who are in prison. Um, some of those writers are prisoners of conscience, and some of them are in Iran. And there are a number of Iranian women writers who write beautiful, who continue to write and write beautiful poetry even as they're imprisoned and suffering under horrendous conditions. One of those um, prisoners is named Godroch Ibrahim Yirayi, and I've followed her story for a long time. She has been in prison since 2016. And she was actually jailed because of a story that she wrote. It involved the Quran and the Iranian authorities did not like what she wrote. And so she has been in jail since then. And what is really compelling about her story is not only her bravery and her courage as an activist and for expressing herself freely and 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 doing, you know, standing up for what she believes in. Um, but also that her husband, Arash Sadiqi, um, is also an activist and he's been in jail as well. Unfortunately, they're not in the same prison. Um, they're in prison separately and um, Arash is suffering from cancer and he's been in very, very poor health. Um, but something about these two and what they've had to sacrifice for standing up for their right to freedom of expression and assembly and association um, is just so moving and inspiring. And so Goroch has produced uh, really lovely poems from um, just being, even being behind bars. And there's some that I really like, but there's a new one that, there's a few new ones that she wrote. And so I'm gonna read one of them for you. And and the thing about Goroch is that sometimes she gets inspired by people that she's in prison with or stories that she's heard. So it's always like really touching and meaningful this poem is called The Lips of the Wind, and actually it's dedicated to Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe and Richard Ratcliffe, so Nazanin Zaghari Ratcliffe being the Iranian-British dual national who's unjustly imprisoned um, in Iran, and this is about their separation because they haven't you know, been able to be a family with their daughter, Gabriela Gisu, um, for years now, and so this poem is for them. The Lips of the Wind. I've left your hands beyond borders, beyond time. Now I turn into wind over these mud bricks piled on each other, these cement bricks that fill up the sky of the city, that city that has swallowed me. I turn into an arrow on Arash's bow to pass through the darkness of night whistling to the sun. I turn into a flag in the hands of Kave fluttering in front of the eyes of the people of the city who haven't even asked in whispers, what is the story of this wall standing up in front of them? I turn into a poem on the lips of the wind and pass through this inevitable boundary over the dreams and becomes real until the cups of our tea, which are emptied next to each other to fill the loneliness of our afternoons until they won't be gloomy anymore and no longer will we be without each other. And again, that was from Godroch Irayi, and, um, and it was for Nazanin Zaghari Radcliffe and Richard Radcliffe about their separation. And um, Godroch has a lot of beautiful poems that you can find online. And um, I really urge the Iranian authorities to free Godroch, her husband Arash, and all prisoners of conscience in Iran who are jailed for no other reason than their peaceful exercise of the right to freedom of expression, assembly, and association. Thank you.